This week, Michael Viga is off to the northern Bavarian town of Bayreuth. It is famous with lovers of classical music the world over and attracts some 1.5 million visitors every year. Bayreuth stages the annual Richard Wagner Festival. The tickets are extremely hard to come by and fans have to wait several years to get one. The festival is also a magnet for German celebrities who come to see and be seen as they stroll along the red carpet leading up to the festival hall. With a little help of Bavarian King Ludwig II, who was one of his biggest fans, the German composer Richard Wagner has built this concert hall in 1876. Ever since then, the annual festival has been led by a member of the Wagner family. Not bad having a king among your fans. Viggo wants to ask some German celebrities which of the works by Wagner are their favorites. Herr Gutenberg, which is Wagner's most important work? Which do you like best? The entire reign. And the defense minister's wife? I'm no expert, but my personal favorite is the Flying Dutchman. Okay. <laughs> The works by Richard Wagner, regularly performed in Bayreuth, include Parsifal, Tristan and Isolde, the four parts of the famous Ring Cycle, and Lohengrin. In order to get to know the Wagner fans better, Vigge has got a job as a waiter with Steigenberger, who organized the festival's champagne reception. Is it looked down upon here to eat sausages and drink beer? Yes. It is uh, very famous here in this region to taste the salt juices. Mm -hmm. And so I think it is a must have here if you are here. Even the high society? Yeah? Yes, of course. Ah. Vigge's role as a waiter enables him to get up close to some of Germany's political and cultural elite. And that means he has to be on his best behavior. But soon he finds out that being a waiter at the Bayreuth Festival is hard work, even if he does get to sample the champagne. So, Viga is curious. Whoa. What do you enjoy most about Bayreuth? Is it the performances, the atmosphere, or perhaps the champagne? The performances, of course, and the new productions and performers. You could say Bayreuth is part and parcel of Bavaria and Germany, and coming here is always an experience. Armed with his tray of champagne glasses, Viga manages to get into the famous festival hall. So what sets Bayreuth apart from other venues in Germany? People from all over come together for a short time to dedicate themselves to performing Wagner. They're all extremely motivated and the artistic quality is very high. Um, the acoustic is amazing. There's no other place to sing Wagner with an acoustic like this. And then the environment and the chorus, it's the best in the world. The Bayreuth Festival has made quite an impression on Vega, but he doesn't think he'd wait for years to get a ticket like many of the fans. For tradition, I have to give a full five stars. The Wagner family has been running the festival for four generations. For perfection, another five stars. Pouring champagne has to be precise to the exact millimeter. But the rock and roll factor gets just one star. It's a little bit stiff here, not the place to let your hair down, even though I've managed to slip into the concert hall unnoticed. Time now for Vigga to bid Bayreuth farewell as he continues his journey through Germany, land of loveliness.